guys. Uh, it's been a while. I hope this, hope the uh, sun in the background doesn't affect it too much. I can't. No, that'll work. Um, I want to apologize first before we start this video. Uh, I haven't got, haven't really edited or even uploaded any videos. Reason being is I have a lot of like small clips and stuff just of random, random crap that I didn't think was worthy of a video. So I'm just going to throw them all in here to show you guys a little bit of what we've been doing the past couple weeks. Um, I've got a big announcement uh, for the channel. As for that, we are growing and I appreciate it from you guys. Uh, I never really intended it to get very big, I guess, and it's still not big, but I mean, it hasn't even, I haven't had the channel for more than six or like six months and we're already closing in on 800 subscribers and stuff like that and that's that's pretty neat but figured to give back to you guys I would start making some like decals and stuff for the old school crew and uh, if you guys follow my Instagram which everybody who's subscribed to me mainly uh, follows my Instagram so what the old school crew is about if you guys don't know the story uh, that's me and a couple buddies we always called our group chat the old school crew and pretty much to be old school crew approved it doesn't really take much. I mean, I'm not going to be picky about what it is. I'm not going to ask you what your vehicle is. I think anything, if it's a new truck, like brand new 2018, and you've got old school looking wheels on it, or if you got an old truck with old school wheels on it, old truck with forces on it, whatever whatever it is, if you think it's kind of got its old school with old, or a truck with, or a vehicle with a little bit of old school flair, uh, buy a sticker, or, oh, here, and here's the stickers. We are... I've had a bunch of orders so far. I'm having my guy in town, Dunks Decals, make them. Uh, his Instagram, I will drop right here. It is Dunks, D-U-N-C-S, underscore decals, all lowercase. Go check out his page. Uh, his page, like, he just started a page for it, but he's been doing it for a long time, and he does a great job. But here are the stickers. Um, I have a, I have one on my truck over here. I'll get out and show you guys. But these are the stickers. These are chrome. I can get them in any color you'd like. Just let me know. Shoot me a DM and and on Instagram. Or if you don't have an Instagram, we can work something out. Uh, we you can just shoot me an email. Which my email uh, I don't really want to give out. So if if you're friends with me on Facebook, like anything, just shoot me. A message and we'll get it figured out but I am accepting whatever like PayPal works best because we don't exchange any information except for email so that's usually what I do they're 12 bucks um, and I'm gonna start making different styles but this one works I mean it's it's pretty cool I've had a lot of people say they like them but anyway I'm gonna start making other stuff I'm probably gonna make some shirts and whatnot for next truck season like truck show event season whenever it comes around so if you guys want to support the channel any uh you can get one of these if not just keep watching the videos keep hitting the like button it helps a lot but uh we do have big news you can tell i'm still in the first gen and there's a reason for that uh whenever i was thinking about selling it and, put, and i posted it on facebook i went through marketplace and stuff and start started trying to find another first gen which obviously the paint is not, I mean, the paint is what it is on this truck. Uh, I've always said, I don't want rust, I can fix paint easy. So I looked for a first gen that was straight, as straight as this one, no rust, and the paint was of the same quality, if not better. And I couldn't find one for 12 or more grand. and. I can tell you right now I've got a lot less a lot less than that in this and I still have a lot of stuff done to this truck. So I realize Gavin you're an idiot. We're not selling the first gen. We can't do it. We're going to get rid of the third gen 67 Cummins. So if you want that truck, I'm probably going to sell it for 15 or 16 grand depending on how much we have in it by the end of it. But I'm I'm probably going to post that like Saturday the what is that like the second or I don't know what day Saturday is. it's like December 1st or 2nd or something like that but if you guys want to buy that truck let me know I'm gonna I mean it's a good truck runs great um there the body you guys have seen the body it's I don't know, it's 
got dents. The hood's got some. It looks like the hood has hail damage, but the rest of the truck doesn't look like like the rest of the truck looks fine. So I have no idea. And it has some clear coat peel at the top of the bed sides on both sides, about a six inch long spot on both sides. But the truck runs great. Uh, it's going to come stock. We're taking the second gen manifold and S464 and all that stuff off because for me probably. You guys probably won't buy it. It'll probably be some guy off Marketplace, some old guy in town, and he doesn't want that stuff on there. So we're taking all that off so we can use it for future stuff. Um, I'm not going to give it away yet because it's going to be a secret. And no, it's not going on the first gen. So, But we're going to be selling that. We're keeping the first gen. Uh, the And most of you guys are probably wondering, where Gavin, where's your 6767HX35 from Savage Fab? And just the blunt answer is, uh, it's been done for a long time, and I just haven't had them ship it back yet because it, I didn't think it was a huge priority. But I need to jump on that. I'm trying to sell a bunch of stuff now so I can go ahead and buy that before Christmas time and get that on the truck. So I've got wheels, I've got tires, I've got all sorts of crap for sale. Uh, 20 by 10 Weld Cheyennes, those are for sale. 15 by 10 Weld Road Hawks, which are Chevy Six Lug, those are for sale. I've got. 35 1750 Mickey Thompson Bajas for sale. I've got all sorts of crap. So if you and they are cheap, ever all those are under 600 bucks. So if you guys are looking for something cool, I guess uh, look at my Instagram and I have all that stuff for sale. Um, I'm sorry, there's a lot of talking. We're gonna throw in some burnout videos and cool shit at the end of this video. So you, this isn't a total waste for you guys. But I'm just trying to catch you up because I've been behind and I am very sorry. Um, just school has been happening, lots of tests, lots of lots of that crap. Um, but the first gen's still here. We're still gonna do fun stuff. Uh, just oh, Greg Aid video dropped today of the first gen, and holy crap, I think sick. So get on over to Greg Aid's channel and watch that. But uh, we got the old school crew decals. Uh, I don't think there's a whole lot else. First gen's doing good. Uh, I've been just racking up the miles on it. So whenever we sell the six seven. We're going to get some much needed suspension upgrades. Uh, we're going to get, well, suspension and steering. That's going to be first. There's gonna, the first thing's going to be on set of welds again here pretty quickly. I can't handle it without any welds on it. So wheels and tires. Uh, and then transmission. Cole is going to get the transmission moving. He's had it. I just... I don't have the money to spend on a $4,000 fully built 47. Uh, so I'm going to start giving him money to start buying parts and putting it together. Um, which is probably going to be a 47 case shoved full with 48 internals. Uh, well, me and him still have to talk that stuff out. So after the 6-7 sells, all that stuff's going to happen. And I think we're going to buy a little daily beater so the first gen can set it home. Because it now has 183 on it. And I bought it with 169, or once. No, I bought it with. It rolled 170,000 miles on the way home from me buying it. So, and it's been right at a year. So about 13. 13,000 miles in a year isn't bad, but I don't want to put the miles on this truck like that. Um, but yeah. We fixed a lot of stuff recently. We fixed like blower motors and stuff like that. We're gonna do the little, I don't know if you guys seen that video where they cut the hole in the heater core or whatever the the air duct pretty much down there and like suck all the leaves and crap out of there. Mine is, I can hear them, They're, it's, it's awful. So I'm gonna do that before long too so you guys stay tuned for that video. We're gonna get interior stuff done. We're gonna try and get a lot of stuff done on the first gen because next season, we want to go to UCC, so if you guys are thinking about going, I'm probably going to go, Everett's going to go, Cole's going to go, like we're all going to be there. The first gen crew is going to be there. So plan on that, plan on Shide. We want to go to, I lo like Daytona and all that stuff would be awesome, but nobody likes this truck enough for that, like there's no sense in me taking it that far. Uh, and it's not like a big diesel event, and I don't want to be the diesel head, like the diesel guy, but I'm just going to that stuff doesn't do much for me compared to UCC and Shide because there's like events going on. And it's fun to watch, and I get to I get to be exposed to new stuff that I haven't been around and learn learn even more. 
and that's what it's all about so if you guys plan on going to that stuff that's gonna be a blast I might even put it in the show and shine just to get it out there people think it's cool obviously the paint sucks it's not gonna win anything but I'll get to talk to a bunch of you guys which will be awesome and hear all your guys stories which I love so I'm probably gonna go and throw this video together a bunch of random clips coming at you multiple videos probably because this is already like 10 minutes long and I'm sorry don't want to talk like this uh, but we've just got a bunch of stuff to do and throw some cool burnout videos in um, I don't know just just having fun so remember old school crew stickers you can pick them up from me uh, I've been selling the crap out of them so you'll start hopefully we'll start just seeing them with random first gens and stuff but uh, or you can get them. I don't know if you guys do this, but whenever I'm gonna get my windshield tent redone because I put this on and it's not good like at all. There's electrical tape up here because this was just a test to see if I'd like it and it turns out I love it so I'm gonna have it professionally done. And that's why I haven't put stickers on my brow, but I put on like I'll fill up this brow with like stickers from whatever performance places I buy stuff. But you guys can buy one of these for your brow, your back glass, back here. Or if you want, DM me and I can maybe get you a smaller one, uh, a smaller version of this, or wait for the different styles to come out to where they're more of a brow sticker. Um, but yeah, hit up my boy Dunks Decals for any of your decal needs. He has got some cool stuff that he's making. He's got a Saturdays are for the boys sticker and like a whole bunch of stuff like that. Um, but go and look at his page. If you need Instagram names, hit him up. He he does good on prices, in my opinion, so it's better than some. I'm sure maybe eBay is cheaper, but, uh, I mean. I'm sure you guys can tell this looks like a whole lot of fun. Uh, we are finally getting around to lifting Guthrie's Tahoe. Here's the old spindle. Uh, the setup on this, we've already got the front done. I didn't really video any of it because I didn't know, uh, well, one, I didn't just I just didn't have the camera in my hand and wanted to get stuff done. But uh, here is his new setup. It is a three inch leveling kit on top of three inch lift spindle. So it's like a total of six in the front. And we have set it down with this with the stock tires back on it. And it sits really high. We did the front and we're on the back now. He does have some mud grabs to put on these which they're 35 so that'll that'll look a lot better but like i said the front is done so these the angles are a little rough on the bump stops but we're going to figure out you know, a way around that but here are the it this thing was dropped three inches in the back so it has lowering coils in it. We're gonna put the stock coils back in and we do have little pucks for the coil as well to lift it up. So that's like a total of five inches that's going up in the rear too. So this thing's gonna sit pretty high. Uh, here are the mud wraps, which they're not, they're not new, but they're not super bald by any means. They actually do have a little bit of tread left. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. But it'll look a lot better on those. So we still got to mount those over there and take these tires off. These tires will be for sale if anybody's looking for some. Let's see, 265, 70, 17s. I mean, they've got light. They've got some life left in them. Do what? Plenty of yeah, plenty of burnouts left. Guthrie says so. Anybody who wants to get after it with that can. But we put we did put longer like we didn't really cut any corners here we hold on let me move all the lug nuts back over here so we don't lose them as you guys can tell with all the quick dry on the ground we didn't didn't have any hose to put hook up to the bleeder so we did bleed the brakes because we put longer brake lines on it so we weren't going to be just straight pushing the limits of the brake line and risk it breaking so we we got coming along though, so the back Guthrie's pretty much got all done. He's got the shocks loose on both. We do have a trans jack under the axle, so we could do this up in the air. 
Uh, it did have, as you'll notice, it looks different right here because the shop, I mean, that looks normal, which is factory. And then here's this drop, which is a shock relocation mount. So he's got to take those off to put the factory coils and everything back in. And we're going to throw this thing back together. So we'll get back with you guys whenever we're getting, probably whenever we're lowering it back down on the ground or... I mean, we still got to throw the mud grabs on those wheels. So we got a little bit left to go, but we are moving right along. We're going to drop the trans jack and get these coils out, and we'll get back with you. All right, so we had to... Here are the rear little lift coils, or for the coils, which would have made it another two inches higher. Uh, we got the stock springs back in because... We went to go put those in and it needs longer shocks for those because we weren't comfortable with maxing these shocks out. Uh, felt like if we flex, like le even pulling into Guthrie's driveway would have made these things explode uh, and it wasn't worth the risk. So we just went ahead and took that out, put the stock spring in and got everything buttoned back up. They're mounting tires right now. Here's, I got the front two on, just waiting for the back so I can put those on. Uh, it's probably going to rub before anybody asks. I mean, this is just mounted, and I mean, that's two finger widths, and yeah, it's going to it's gonna rub, if they ask me. They don't, they don't seem to think so, but if it had some offset, maybe not, but on the stocks, it's probably going to. But he does have fuel forged, he'll probably put on here, just to... So we'll see what that looks like, but uh, once they get those two, I'll mount these other ones up, work them down, and we'll be on the road. And I'll probably get a video of it backing out so you guys can see it. Uh, we are going on a little weld adventure tomorrow morning, and I'm going to bring you guys along. Uh, we're on the quest for some 15 by 14 weld Roadhawks like Keller's already got, Chevy 6 lug. Uh, they're for his truck. It's his deal. So I'll get my 15 by 10s back that's, that are on his truck. We're gonna put some 15 by 14s on there on the 29 by 1050s. So be ready for pictures of us blowing those things on there. It's gonna be exciting. You guys can think what you want about the 29 1050s on 15 by 14s. I'll drop a picture in here to show you what they look like. But uh, look pretty sick. It's a little Sin Cal. Or the Cali boys will love it. The Hawaii boys will love it. The world page is gonna freak out. So. We're gonna we're gonna finish this up the no longer Camden Slam Tahoe and we'll be on our way. Well, people hated Guthrie's headlights before because they were so bright, but uh, that's gonna be even brighter. And it looks like a lot of lean out here. Keep going. Oh yeah. All the rub. That's rubbing against the inner fender. Now to pick up the shop.